Welcome to this tutorial video on the Analyze phase of DMake. In this video, we're going to explain what the Analyze phase is, break it down into its substeps, and introduce some of the tools that you might use. Firstly, let's look at the objective of the Analyze phase, which is to find the root causes of the problem and understand and quantify their effect on process performance. So the Analyze phase is the bit that most people expect to jump straight into when they're told that they are going to be involved in a problem-solving project. But of course, with the DMake approach, the idea is that, having completed the define and measure stages first, we are now well prepared for the analyze phase and can now focus our problem-solving efforts in the right places. Now let's take a look at some of the substeps within the analyze phase. The first step is about analyzing the process and understanding how it actually works. This is a useful step for the project team. It provides useful insight and clues and is particularly valuable for team members that are not close to the process on a day-to-day -day basis. The second step of Analyze is about developing theories and ideas as to what might be going wrong in the process. This is also a useful step as it starts to break the problem down into manageable and distinct areas of investigation. The third step is about analysing the data to see if it supports the theories and ideas that have been assembled. And finally, analysing the data can also help to verify the root causes of a problem and quantify their effect on the process output. So let's take a look at some of the tools you might expect to use in the analyse phase. For analysing processes, useful tools include process mapping, value stream mapping, fishbone diagrams, seven wastes, spaghetti diagrams, brainstorming, and five whys. And when you're analyzing data, useful tools include histograms, time series plots, box plots, individual value plots, scatter plots, Pareto charts, and probability plots. Also for data analysis, there are a number of statistical techniques we can use such as correlation, regression, hypothesis testing, and designed experiments. In summary, the analyze phase is where the more traditional problem-solving activities start. There is a large toolkit available within the analyze phase, and it is less prescriptive as to which tools should be used when and in which order. But the overall objective is to truly understand how the process works and the root causes of the problem being investigated. That concludes this short video on the analyze phase of DMake process. Thanks for watching.